Hi, my friends. Welcome back. We're here for more Mean Girls Sorority Rush. This is... This is... Okay, in real life, I would never join a sorority because I have no clue about it. Anything about it. Because I... Because <laughs> I might be an idiot, obviously. So anyway, let's go. How great is that freaky abortion moved out? Just shut... Just up and left last night. Fine by me, cause get means PDH shall ride ring once more. Uh, sorry, I can't read that. I'm sorry. Knock knock. Hello. It's your new roomie. Me. You're moving? Of course. You were my number one choice after Regina. And Karen. And that abortion girl is like kind of poor, so it was really easy. What do you mean? Oh, I just heard daddy sent some straight up money way her way. But I don't want to move. I'll make you an offer you can't re refuse. Eight grand. Piff. Piff. Ten. Sold. And it gets better. Not, not only are we living together, but we're pledging the same house. That's number two? Ow, ow. Ow, ow. Ow. But it's almost time for get, to get over there. And I'll walk really slow in these shoes, so I should get going now. I'll meet you there. But I, got, I got some studying to do first. Which class are you studying for? Um. Okay. Because I'm, I'm an artist in real life, but I'm just going to do... Psychology 101. Jess and I are taking it together. I promise I'd wake her up if she falls asleep in class. Good luck with with everything. Psychology is a study of the mind and behavior. Embracing all the aspects of unconscious and conscious experience as well as thought. My phone rings. Time for the first Russia meeting at Delta M Matul. Hello, Caroline. Gretchen. Somebody, somebody went shopping. On behalf of Tamara, myself, and Dr. Matu, I'd like to say that we are thrilled to have such an awesome group of girls rushing this year. Inter... Inter... Intergity. Charity. Sisterhood. These are all the pillars of Dr. Matu. We're looking for outstanding young women who truly em embody these talent tenants. And with that, Tamara and I officially welcome you to Dr. Matua Rush Week. Thanks, Michelle. Hello, ladies. As you know, my name is Tamara Murphy. I am the president of Dr. Matua, and it's my sworn duty to oversee the rush process. I am not your friend. I am not your sis big sister. And I'm definitely not your mommy. Any questions? Okay, good. The purpose of the rush is to test your limits and determine if you have the inner strength to be a Delta Matua sister. So you have must, you have just one goal here: survive. How do you survive? One, you obey the dress code at all times. Two, you do whatever your sisters say, or face punishment. Um, excuse me. Hi, Gretchen. We. Sort of hear this. I was just wondering what sorts of punishment might be we might we be facing. It's up to you, Gretchen, to not find out. And three, you must complete every test you are given. Trust me, they are all they'll be checked. Questions? Good. Break any rules, and not only you will be punished, but you will, but so will your entire rush class, and you'll face an additional week of pledging. I suggest you stick to the rules and more importantly stick together. Almost everybody. Alright, Erin, so let so now let's 
if anyone would care to leave, and I'm and I'm being totally sincere when I say this, please leave. The door is right over there. There's also the door over there, and another one over that way. Fire codes. Bye bye. Not everyone has what it takes to be a Delta Mom. The two ladies. Oh jeez. See, Caroline? That's little curve, little curve fry dropped out before we even started. Just like, just like I said. Uh, yeah, Regina, I saw. I'm telling you, take my advice and bow, bow out. I just want to spare you the, in, 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 instead of a pain of your rejection. Let's fire back. Regina, this isn't high school. This isn't a popular contest. This is about sisterhood. Sisterhood only applies to those who make it into the house. So, not to you. Is there an issue here? Nope. All good, Michelle. Maybe she's right. If she, if it does come down to me and Regina, it would they would they really pick me over her? Put yourself together, Blank. You can't let Regina and George psych you out. All right, ladies, are you ready for your rush week, first rush week assignment? It's gonna be a real or cake walk. And remember, we see everything. Hold on, I need a picture for, of this. Smile, ladies. So hot. Details, please. It's our first rush assignment. I'm supposed to deliver a cupcake to the president of Peter P. Chai. And then ride away on a bicycle, tiny bicycle? Very funny. Why are you here? This is the house I'm pledging. Gabe Brills are in high demand. Nice! Plus, you should see with the guys I'm rushing with. I have my sights set on a one in particular. You maybe don't, maybe don't want to go chasing a straight guy. Definitely not. He's a gay guy who only thinks he's straight. And I'm going to be the one who helped Brody come out. Well, if that, anyone can do it, it's you, Damien. Hey, can you kick Cam? I'm supposed to deliver this cake, cupcake in a ladylike fashion. And apparently we're all being evaluated. Hey, look who it is. Okay, gotta turn on the charm. I hardly recognize you in this fancy getup you're wearing. Oh, this little thing? I have to say, this is not what I had in mind for rushing Delta to my tool. Hey, Damien. Can, can you guys let the guys know we're pushing the egg rocket, rocket back to 530? Sir, yes, sir. I got to say, this is one of my favorite Delta Matur rush traditions. Clowns, cupcakes, why not lo to love? What's not to love? Let's see. How about slaving away in the kitchen to make treats for a bunch of men? Actually, the cake was started because women on this campus weren't being taken seriously. Really? I can't believe Tamar didn't tell you. When U of E became coded in 1904, the major sex was dean of students banned women from taking math and science classes. I believe this, his exact words were, were that women should focus on baking and beauty. So the Dutton Matul sister says, If you think women and just are uh, just cupcakes and mega, then cupcakes and mega shall you, you shall receive. They're all much into the dean's office wearing clown costumes and holding cupcakes. And they refused to leave until he opened the math and science departments to women. Whoa. Now, that it, now it's a fun way to introduce to you all the guys in your brotherhood fraternity. Plus, I think the cupcake thing is a generally nice neighborhoodly thing to do. My mom always took over the plate of brownies if someone moved into our streets. It would be even more nicer to be more neighborhoodly if the boys did it too. I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, I have a cupcake for you. Thanks, Caroline. It's a shame you're not having more fun with this. Like your friend over there. Seems like she's having a blast. Right, Regina, Regina, Regina. Man, never sees. Never seen someone get so popular so fast. Regina 1, Carolyn 0. Regina is already shoving me out of contention. Maybe I need to cut, talk to Katie. She's an expert of high, at high stakes Regina drama. No, I'm too, exp I'm too broke. I kind 
can't believe they're making us wear this. But Jones has really had really made a comeback. Shut up, Gretchen. Orange makes everyone look like puke. <laughs> it's a welcome welcome read praise for my cupcake delivery clown costume. Between you and me, I sneeze on my cupcake before I deliver it. Nice! Looks like look like vanilla frosting. Ew! In the other news, I overheard Michelle and Tamara say they were cutting two girls at the end of the night. What? Then they were recognizing about their first prisoner party. Apparently they snuck into the sewing room and dec decorated their jumpsuits. Hmm. They kept talking about how they hoped the Russians will get creative. I just had an idea. Prison break? No, we should be bedazzle our j jumpsuits. Tamara and Michelle will lo certainly love that, which I can't afford. This orange jumpsuit is pretty ugly, but I think I can deal with it. I'm just curious about what the other horrors they have planned for us tonight. Horrors, tonight is a party, which is not yours to enjoy. Listen up, Rushes. You are not to party, get, party guest tonight, and you are not here to have fun. You're here to work. What? It truly gets up Matoon knows how to entertain in style. Your job is to make sure our guests have the best possible time. And anyone who falls short will be cut. Tonight. Drama. This will get so many views. Sorry, do we even go to this school? <laughs> Classic Karen. Oh, and that's it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Oh my gosh, this is why I never joined sororities when I when I first heard about the oh when I first read the story because I'm so scared of something like this will happen. Anyway, goodbye.